So for this video I will be putting on a passenger side oil separator on my Shelby GT350. It does currently have one on there but I don't like the looks of it. So we're going to be removing that one and putting the factory one on. So for this video I will be installing the Ford Performance oil air separator. As you can see this already does have an oil separator on it but I don't really like the looks of this one on this car and I bought this as a kit. I have one for the driver's side as well but the driver's side one will not be going on today because that's meant to fit with the factory air box and I have an aftermarket intake on this. I do have an OEM intake setup coming. I'll show you where it's supposed to bolt on after I get this one put on so you can see what I'm talking about. But for now we're just going to put this one on in replace of this one and then later on I'll get the other one put on. Now we'll check this after. I did check this not too long ago. So there's probably nothing in that but I'm going to check it again just because. And the way this mounts is pretty easy. There's already two installed push pins. One of the holes is not even used on the valve cover and the other one you just pull this pin out that's here and that's how it mounts on the passenger side. Well I ended up cutting it in half with these which is fine because I don't really care to reuse the push pin because you don't need to. Now you do have to move the engine harness out of the way a little bit on the GT350 but it's not too difficult. And that's it they're both on so we'll check the uh, old catch can and see what that looks like it's about how I found it before it's pretty much empty but regardless I still want the new cans on there just in case better to be safe than sorry if anyone happens to want this if I still have it by the time this video drops let me know I'll sell it real cheap it is scuffed up right there pretty sure this is meant for a it's pretty universal they go on a lot of different um, year cars so some of them they don't exactly fit right so this is the finished product. I really like this because it looks factory. Of course it's a Ford part so it should look factory but it looks like it came on the car. It wasn't even added after. As far as the driver's side one goes, I'm trying to do this with one hand so you can see how it mounts here. Let me get it actually in frame. Um, it bolts to the, not bolts, but um, there's a fastener that goes on the strut tower brace that holds that on. And there's a fastener underneath the strut tower where it bolts onto there. And there's one right here. But as you can see, this is in the factory intake. And this bolts right onto the factory box. So I can't exactly get this one hooked up the way that I want to without the factory box being on here. There's a stud that goes right here and this just sits right on that and bolts onto it. So what I'm waiting for is my factory intake box to come in. I actually want to get this off. I like the look of the stock um, unit better anyway, so that's coming off and I'll get the rest of this, uh, this other oil separator on there when the other intake comes in. Hey! 